welcome back. I'm Natalie, and this is National Taiwan University Office of International Affairs. If you're just joining us, welcome to the second day of our 2021 online info session for international students. We've had a series of webinars introducing our colleges today, with only four remaining. We have the College of Bioresources and Agriculture, College of Life Science, College of Public Health, and College of Medicine. Today on our agenda, first is College of Bioresources and Agriculture. Before we watch their video, I would like to remind you guys that you should, you can all comment your questions in our comment section anytime throughout this webinar so we can answer them during the Q&A session. So first, let's watch the video, the introduction video of the College of Bioresources and Agriculture. Good afternoon. I am Professor Jerry Liu, and I am the Associate Dean of the College of Bioresource and Agriculture, National Taiwan University. I am now pleased to introduce our college. Our college was established in 1928 and named the Faculty of Science and Agriculture, Taihoku Imperial University. Name changed to the Faculty of Agriculture, Taihoku Imperial University in 1943. And changed to the College of Agriculture, National Taiwan University in 1945. It was renamed the College of Bioresources and Agriculture in 2002. The mission of our college is to establish healthy agriculture for promoting a better quality of life and economy well-being in smart and sustainable ways. We carry out study and research to explore three major fields, animal and crop health, environmental health, and human health. At present, our college consists of one professional school and 14 departments and institutes, including School of Veterinary Medicine, Department of Economy, Department of Environmental System Engineering, Department of Agricultural Chemistry, Department of Animal Science and Technology, Department of Agricultural Economics, Department of Horticulture and Landscape Architecture, Department of Bioindustry Communication and Development, Department of Bioindustry Mechatronic Engineering, Department of Entomology, Department of Plant Pathology and Microbiology, School of Forestry and Resource Conservation, Institute of Food Science and Technology, Institute of Biotechnology, and master program for plant medicine. We provide undergraduate, master, and PhD programs in crop and animal science, food safety and health, environmental ecology, agricultural engineering, and social science. In addition to the academic departments and institutes, our college has several affiliated units, including Experimental Farm, Experimental Forest, Highland Experimental Farm, Veterinary Hospital, Agricultural Exhibition Hall, Education and Research Center for Bioindustry Automation, the Committee of Agricultural Extension, and the Hydrotech Research Institute. Our college has three experimental stations, including experimental farm, highland experimental farm, and the experimental forest. The experimental farm assists ecology education intern practice, experiments, and research by providing necessary materials and environment to the public. It offers guide ecological tools and diagnosis and the consultation of pests and the disease of plants and abundant agricultural products 
and spaces for leisure activities. The Highland Experimental Farm, located at a mid to high elevation, has an environment that is suitable for research and the experiment of Highland agriculture and ecology. It also serves as a business model of sustainable development of Highland agriculture in Taiwan, and is dedicated to promoting and expanding the practice and the related knowledge to ensure the Highland resources can be better shared and used. Our college also includes the experimental forest, which covers 1% of Taiwan's land. It's an important research base with wide biodiversity and have five forest types with distinctive biological features. It bears the responsibility of promoting Taiwan's forestry so people can appreciate the natural environment and is a treasure of nature biological resources. Our experimental station covers 1% of Taiwan's land and has diverse climate zones ranging from subtropical, warm temperate, cool temperate, cold temperate to alpine. They are excellent environments suitable for research and experiment of agriculture and ecology. Our college has a veterinary hospital. It's shouted with three major tasks, teaching, research, and service. It set up the Asia's first animal cancer center. Our college has 11 functional research and extension centers, including Vital Chong, Research Center for Ecological Engineering, Research Center for Food and Biomoleculars, Research Center for Zoonosis, Research Center for Bioenergy, Research Center for Plant Medicine, Center for International Agricultural Education and Academic Exchange, Joint Center for Entrapments and Research, Animal Cancer Center, Agricultural Planning and Therapy Research Center, and the National Center for Food Safety, Education and Research. Then I will introduce the faculty and the students of our college. There are currently 243 faculties and 3,600 students in our college. The faculty-student ratio is 1 to 14.8 and we provide an abundance of academic resources to students. Then I will introduce our research. We have developed unique strengths in many fields. In the crop molecular breeding, we focus on not only basic scientific research, but also sea industry. We have successfully developed several crop varieties based on marker assisted selection. We make optimal utilization of resources for achieving health urban metabolism and building intelligent green cities. Our plant factory can produce safe, high quality crops in a systematic and stable manner without being affected by seasonal changes or weather conditions. By controlling environmental conditions required for growth of plants in a highly accurate artificial way. In response to the rapid development of ICT, IoT, Big Data, AI, and Blockchain, we also focus on the teaching and the study of smart agriculture and the bioeconomy and set up a research center for new generation agricultural innovation. The smart monitor feedback system can be used for large-scale monitoring and managing agricultural area. The Smart Monitor Feedback System can also be used for crop growth monitoring and pet and disease diagnosis. 
The Smart Monitor Feedback System could also be used for precision nutritional management of livestock production. We set up an Apex Agri Intelligent Lab and offer an intelligent agricultural course. Then I will introduce our internationalization. In our college, there are currently five foreign faculties, 327 international students, and 80 courses are taught in English. In addition to that, we have 27 international partners and offer three double degree programs and one international joint degree master program. In the academic exchange, We have 27 international partners, which include a university and organization in the United States of America, Europe, Asia, and Oceania. We establish deep collaboration projects include faculty exchange program, joint symposium, and research project collaboration. For example, Kyoto University and us established overseas office in both parties. We collaborate with Southeast Asian Regional Center for Graduate Study and Research in Agriculture, or CERCA, and became a member of Southeast Asian University Consortium in 2019. We held the 32nd Executive Board Meeting of University Consortium in 2019 and held the second UC Faculty Forum in 2020. In the education cooperation, we cooperate with 19 partner colleges in the United States of America, Japan, Europe, and South Asia. Students can join the exchange student program, courses, and the double degree program. We have three double degree master programs, which are cooperated with Kyoto University, University of Tsukuba, and the University of Borijawa, respectively. Besides, we have an international joint degree master program named Agrobiomedical Science in Food and Health, which is offered in collaboration with the University of Bodo and the University of Scuba. In the International Student Affairs, the number of international students increase every year. There are more than 300 international students in 2019. In our college, we have more than 80 English taught courses offered by department or institutes. In addition to that, we have several common learning courses, distant learning courses, intensive courses, and joint courses taught in English. We have two international master degree programs, including agriculture economies master program and the Global Agricultural Technology and the Genomic Science Program. The Global ATGS Program is offered in collaboration with the International College of National Taiwan University. In the International Summer Program, we provide a program named Biodiversity Agriculture and the Culture of Taiwan, or BACT. This program is a four-week program and is conducted in English and composed of three main elements, indoor lectures, outdoor field trip, and the team research project. Every year, 20 students are admitted to the program. In the past 13 years, students from 34 university and 12 countries have joined this program.
Then I would like to invite you to enjoy video to learn about our car. <laughs> We have delighted to have you join us at College of Bioresource and Agriculture of National Taiwan University. Thank you. From the College of Bioresource and Agriculture to join us today in our Q&A session. Hi, Jack. Hi, hello. So we have a couple questions in our comments section. Can you see them? Is there any chance the scholarship offered by the college to? <laughs> yeah, I I saw the question asked by Xin Chen, and um, it's on the screen right now. Yeah. Oh, okay. So as for this question, so far if we focus on exchange student program, uh, our college does not offer any scholarship. So student basically is um, on their own. And then as for dual degree, also the same. So sorry about that. But uh, I'm, we are not sure in the future whether we will have the system or to offer, I mean, uh, scholarship to the students. Yeah. So mm -hmm. for now, we don't. And the second one, I heard that there is a high farm campus and we or the student have changed to do research there. Yes, basically, if you are enrolled uh, at, the, uh, at the Department of Horticulture, then you will be the student. And they, the student usually are going there to do in their internship. So make sure you are the student of uh, Department of Horticulture, then you will definitely have a chance. But for other students, probably you just go there and uh, to take a look. I'm not sure if you can do the internship there if you are not from the horticulture. Okay. And the last one, what's the difference between horticulture and agronomy? So from my point of view, although that's not my field, but I think horticulture is more focused on uh, landscape. So it's related to fruit tree, flowers, or like a landscape design. And agronomy is more focused on crops the food we eat, like a rice or other kinds of crops. So basically, if you like to do something related to flowers, if I can say so, yeah, you can go to like a horticulture. And also if you are interested in the city design and but related to this kind of flower plants, then you can also choose horticulture. But of course, I'm not in, the, that, in that field, like a tomato. It's kind of like blowing to horticulture. But if you go to agronomy, 
then you will have like a rice paddy and you can do some uh, practice during the internship there. So I think that's the basically the difference as far as I know. Now we have uh, the fourth question. How often do students from college do? Um, basically, um, at NTU, may, may, I'm not sure whether uh, the students know they are like um, university level and also college level exchange stu student program. But the, those agreements are basically signed at different level like a university or signed by our college. So as for now, I have to say we have uh, four partner universities from France, three from USA, and uh, two from Japan and the two from Korea, South Korea, that we have uh, exchange student program agreement. So I think uh, if you want to apply for exchange student program, especially focusing on agriculture, then you can apply from the college. And usually we send more than 20 students to go abroad to study. So that's for exchange student. Is it competitive? For me, it should be okay. Yeah, it should be okay. Compared to the competition among the students who apply for university level ex student uh, exchange student program. Yeah. So the next question, what are other internships opportunities offer only towards the from your college? Um, for this part, I know there are maybe two private companies, they offer internship. But if you are focusing, you, if your question is on private company, then I have to say there are only a few, only a few that offer. So it depends on your background and also which department you are uh, enrolled at. So it's really hard to say. Like uh, as I, as far as I know, I know the Institute of Biotechnology. They have kind of um offered this maybe a few quota. So for the details, maybe you can ask or write email to our center. And then I can pass the message to to the the right unit. We have a follow up question from YH also about internships. Um, it's nice is it necessary to, to do internships in a, in your college? Yeah, I think uh, not all the departments. I know forestry, agronomy, and horticulture. They have to do internship, but for others, I don't. I really, I don't really hear that. Yeah. All right, we have um, a little bit of time left. Uh, maybe we can talk a little bit about the College of Bioresources and Agriculture. Um, would you like to introduce the college from your perspective? OK. What is your uh, role in the bioresources and yeah. agriculture? OK. Actually, I've been working here in the international in the international center of our college for 10 decades. And our college has, has a very long history since the at the very beginning when it was established. And we have like um, 17 departments and uh, institutes, so which is really big. And we occupy the 1% the land of Taiwan, if you know that, it, in the central Taiwan, like uh, in Shito forestry, and also just the uh, question mentioned, uh, uh, Meifeng Highland Farm. And also we have the, in Taipei, we also have uh, like uh, the, the farmland. So it's really a big one and lots of students, uh, around uh, 4,000 students um, in these 17 uh, departments. And we have like uh, more than 250 faculty members teaching. So for the ratio of uh, graduate student and undergraduate student, it's kind of like a one to one. Yeah. So. Uh, you have lots of uh, choices. We also have like a social part, like uh, agriculture economics 
and uh, also agricultural communication and uh, education. So lots of things, including animals, plants. If you want to focus on this, you can. You have lots of choices. Thank you, thank you, Jack, for your time. I think that's all for today. We need to no. uh, carry on to our next session in a couple minutes. Okay. Thank, thank you. you Jack, for joining us. See you. Bye. See you. and Professor Chi Shen Yang. We also have a few NTU students. We have Max and Vincent. Before we start our session, let's start with the video. What is life? The renowned physicist Schrodinger considered all organisms to be living, whether they are microorganisms, animals, or plants. Any organism exhibiting precise movements that are comprised of atom-sized smaller particles could be considered a life. We strive to understand the wonder of life and create a better future for humanity. Our curiosity propels us to decode our genome, study the physiology of various organisms, and to understand the relationship between evolution and ecology. This basic knowledge of life science is extended to solving problems like disease and food security. 
and has also given rise to the biochemical and biotechnology industries. And all of this is happening at the College of Life Science at National Taiwan University. In Taiwan, National Taiwan University is a top-ranking institution and ranks within the top 100 universities worldwide. The College of Life Science offers extensive educational resources and wide-ranging interdisciplinary research collaborations that can tackle some of the world's most challenging issues. If we ask what is life, I would say life is the biochemical sciences from DNA to RNA to protein. And that's the central dogma in biology. The research in biochemical sciences empowers us to understand our lives deeply. More importantly, it makes our lives better life. 系统生物学顾名思义，就是透过系统性的方式，甚至高通量的方式，在各种生物里面呢进行做研究。那因为系统生物学它已经是一个非常重要的概念，所以它的影响力呢已经渗透在现代生命科学领域的每一个领域里面。The study of ecology and evolutionary biology focuses on the interactions between the living organisms and their environments, as well as how they react throughout the history of life. As we cannot live separate from our surroundings, understanding ecology and evolution is the key for the sustainability of human beings. We investigate biological processes by studying molecules and their interactions and how the genome orchestrates cell behavior. Our research helps us understand the molecular and cellular processes in normal physiology and cancer and neurodegeneration disease. The human body is more micro than humans. What do these micro do to our body? It is critical to understand the link between the microbes and our body in sickness and in health. This would eventually lead to better and more effective therapeutics. Our institute aims to understand the integrated relationship between brain growth and defense and responses in response to abiotic and abiotic stresses to gain the molecular mechanisms leading to possible applications in the near future. Fishery catches and agricultural production affect the global food economy and security. We, the IFS, developed to win the latest management discussion, balancing economic development and environmental conservation through interdisciplinary and transdisciplinary studies in order to achieve a sustainable future society. We study how diets and individual food components affect human health and how they influence gene expression. We aim to explore the nutritional, epigenetic, and immune regulation of metabolism, as well as its psychological functions, all for the improvement of human health. The biotech industry relies on the scale-up production of a recombinant protein, such as scale-up process development play a crucial role in bridging the laboratory at the school and the manufacturing plant in industry. This laboratory allows us to develop the processes that are required to obtain the recombinant protein powder with specification. Using all kinds of model organisms, such as mouse, fish, and worm, we want to understand how our brain works. We want to know how the neurons make connection with each other and how this connection influences us. It can help us fight mental health. It can help us fight dementia and aging. And it can even change the way we learn in the future. The College of Life Science was founded in 2003. Here you can enjoy lots of exciting experiments. Research in the College of Life Science has extended from the basic theory to the practical application. We welcome you to join us to explore the wonderful world in life science. I think there are many um, interesting and attractive courses at this college. And what I really like is that you become part of a research a lab immediately. More than that, what our college offers is super flexible frames. Uh, we all have found our own spot here. I'm very happy to say that while doing my PhD here in Taiwan, I am experiencing a safe learning environment. Do you like the nature of the world? Do you like to understand the meaning of life?
来做我们大学部硕士班或者博士班的学生，在生命科学院的老师可以教导大家很多有关于生命科学的形形色色的知识，而从这些知识当中，我们也可以能够有创新研发，我们有呃很好的开创自己未来的职业生涯。所以，生命科学院的毕业同学实际上是可以在为台湾发光发热，而且为全世界、全人类带来更好的健康以及。College of Life Science, National Taiwan University. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. If you have any questions for the College of Life Science, comment in the comment section anytime throughout this webinar, and we will address them in the Q and A session later. And so uh, I would like to invite Dr. Professor Ting and Professor Yang to introduce their departments to us. Professor Ting. Okay, thank you. So my name is Chao Ti Ting. Um, I am here to introduce the programs in College of Life Science. We have two undergraduate programs. So uh, Professor Yang and I will talk uh, briefly about these two programs for undergraduate students study. Then we have uh, different institutions in different fields. So from the introductory video, uh, you have probably have experienced the diversity of uh, different research fields under the College of Life Science. Then if you're interested in apply our graduate school, I would encourage you to visit our website and to look at our faculty lineup and their specific research area. Before you apply, we also strongly encourage you to uh, study some of the uh, research areas you are interested in and contact our faculty members to get better sense about how your project or your future projects might be and also you know what will be the emphasis for each project and what specific background you might need to uh, be prepared. So that's something we uh, recommend all the uh, graduate students. For a uh, high school student who is applying for our college, I think you are very welcome to joining us. And from our um, through the uh, announcement, you already know our program is uh, bilingual. So we a lot of the basic uh, courses were taught uh, in Mandarin Chinese, but we our faculty member all can communicate with you uh, in English. So I know some of the. Uh, International student might have difficulty at National Taiwan University in the first very first year. So our university tried really hard to provide English taught basic courses uh, from the for the freshmen. And also most advanced courses in life science are taught in English. So if you apply to our program, I'm sure you will have sufficient among the courses uh, taught in English could be understand, easy to understand and you probably can also study well. And for some of the Chinese courses, I know it will be difficult for newcomers, but you know, we always, our faculty members are very keen in trying to communicate with students. We get the private uh, tutoring hours. We also have undergraduate uh, students volunteer to be the tutor. Uh, in the department and also at the school. So you always can find some local help to understand the uh, lecture material and to be uh, well prepared for the exams and any evaluations. So I think this is so common to a lot of different departments uh, in our school as well. So I will uh, leave some of the time to my colleague, Professor Yang, to talk about their department. Yeah, please. Hi. Chi Shen Yang here. Uh, welcome to this webinar. Um, I believe from the video you just watched, you pretty much get a, a brief idea like what we are doing in uh, College of Life Science. I want to uh, share with you, um, this La College of Life Science is doing wonderful scientific research. And at the same time, we create the value of science. And that's the reason we have two departments. Uh, Professor Dean uh, belongs to the Department of Life Science. I come from the Department of Biochemical Science and Technology. With that technology, you know that um, we not only um, doing the basic research, we also try to see whether we can apply 
and create a value for those science technologies. Um, that's a reason if, if you, and I welcome you to join us. If you come to our department, what you will find is not only you can reach it for the class for the basic science, you will have a lot of laboratory classes you can choose from. For instance, the biochemistry uh, lab or the microbiology lab, those two cl classes are required. Then after that, you can choose also nutritional biochemistry lab or you can have the uh, fermentation to uh, prepare the proteins like that. And then with all of those um, uh, trainings, our major focus is that not only you can learn the basic science, you also see how those basic science comes from and get an inspiration, inspiration from that and then grow from there. I believe you guys play video game. Um, you cannot um, finish a video game just by, you know, uh, accomplish or go through the menu, right? And that's the reason in this department, we emphasize also play the game, means like we do laboratory works. Um, if you are not, um, if you are not uh, afraid of such kind of challenge, we really welcome you to get inspired here with those laboratory, laboratory course classes. Welcome to join us. Sounds like biochemistry, biochem science and technology requires a lot of hands-on work. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like to invite Max, would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself and your choice in this college? Um, hello, my name is Max and uh, I'm a local student in Taiwan. And I choose the Department of Life Science because I like to do the research about biology. And in this department, it provides a lot of uh, opportunities for biology, biological studying and biological research. And it really fits my interest. And I also welcome uh, people with this interest can join us. Thank you, Max and Vincent. I hear you're from Malaysia. Yes. I'm a Malaysian too. <laughs> can you tell can you tell us why you chose to come to Taiwan? You why did you choose NTU and ultimately what made you choose your call this college and your department? Okay. Um to speak the truth, Taiwan is actually not my first choice when I uh, when I'm considering where to uh, study my undergraduate study. But then fate and uh, fate has been ended up in Taipei that and NTU. And the more time I spent in Taiwan, the more I start to like. I'm sorry, fate, not your hard work. <laughs> <laughs> I think there, there well, are certain <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> But then, yeah, the important thing is that the more I stay in this city, in this country, the more I like the environment, the culture, the people. I think um, the culture and the people create a space, an a, a environment that is open and inclusive and makes living here very comfortable and it's a good thing when you're trying to acquire knowledge because yeah you know in a, in a safe environment you can um, focus your attention on, on learning new things and for um, the course i graduated from the biochemical science and technology department for my undergraduate and i'm now continuing my master's degree here in the same department. Both at NTU. Yes, both at NTU. And um, I've been involving in the um, field of protein science. Yeah, I, I think um, doing science is a good way to help the world, especially in, in a time of pandemic like this. Mm -hmm. I think biotechnology, Very true. Yes, yes. biotechnology has proven itself to be an important field to help us survive. And so, yeah, that is um, what I thought about uh, studying biotechnology, uh, biochemical science and technology. And I think for our course, an important thing is that apart from the solid training of molecular biology, biochemistry, like what Professor Yang has mentioned, there's also a certain flexibility to the schedule. We can arrange what we like to do. Right, thank you for sharing. Uh, shall we move on to our Q&A session? Or is there anything else you, guys, you would like to say? Yeah. Let's 
Yeah, I think right. we can move on to the Q&A We have um, Daniel here who would like to know if biochemical science and technology requires strong physics. <laughs> it's not bad to have that. <laughs> but I'm not saying that you require to have that before you can enter this department. But to the country, you can come to this department and become pretty good at biophysics. That's what I have to say. Perhaps, perhaps you're not really good at physics right now, but after you enter, you will come out as... That's why you go to school to learn. <laughs> Very good point. Very good point. And, oh, we have another one. Some advice to offer students who is preparing for your college. Students? Max, everybody's looking at you for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I'm not really sure about the uh, application of, of international students, but uh, as in locals, uh, for local students, we want to enter this department. Uh, we have on, we have gone through the uh, the writing test that is focusing on how you can uh, fix a question about biology. So it's kind of an open-minded question, but uh, you have to uh, provide your own opinion on this subject. And I'm not really sure about what the application process of international students. Sure. Yeah, um, I think for international students, the question is kind of wide mm -hmm. in, in a sense. Um, but I think the most important thing is um, for me, myself, I think you have to have um, a basic um, vision, a goal of what you uh. would like to do in the future. Mm -hmm. Because in a sense, biochemical science and technology or life science is a very wide field and you can um, have a lot of choices um, when you come to this department. So I think it's important to have a brief direction mm -hmm. as in which niche of the life sciences you are interested mm -hmm. in. But then, yeah, but then I think the most important thing is the mindset. You have to prepare yourself to accept new things. I think that's quite important. That's so so speaking of direction and vision, yes. Vanessa wants to know, what kinds of jobs she can do after graduating from life sciences other than research? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, I think we get this type of question or similar questions all the time, not only from our students, but from some parents. So we meet with parents maybe in the, during orientation, we often this question will pop up. So um, in our department, we emphasize basic knowledge so as we just hear uh, someone, some student ask whether it required physics, um, it's, you don't have to be really strong in physics, but we do require you take general physics uh, in, during the freshman year. So that's, I think, the same for both departments. Then in the future, I think students when in different direction. I will take some examples about um, like where my students get their job. So we have students um, still doing research, either working in a laboratory, do scientific research, or in the future become a PI. So many of our colleagues were trained in this university or even in the department, like a, our departments, um, like 10, 20 years ago. So that's very common in a lot of different universities. Then we also have a student realize the um, K-12 education is really important. So in National Taiwan University, we also provide education program to become a high school teacher. So I have several students went through that program, get training, then they become high school uh, teacher and they do, you know, really good education and also still collaborating with uh, college faculties. We have quite a few students went on industry. So in the industry field, actually, you know, from basic research to apply, there's a wide, much wider range than we saw. So when I was an undergraduate or even graduate student, I thought industry is only for applying the technology and also how to make a vaccine and other things. But actually, I have several friends, they 
they got their PhD training and they were, you know, in the industry. Actually, they some of them did pretty much the same work as I did in my laboratory. So they're still doing R&D research and development, and they are directing the project, try to, you know, get some innovations. Of course, at the, the end, they emphasize on like uh, the price value. But at the university, we do the same thing. We emphasize on research development. We emphasize on knowledge, which is a different kind of value. So that's something I hope is already covered some range of the uh, job opportunities. May I come in here? Yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> of course. That's quite a good question, seriously. <laughs> you know, um, you go to school, you, you consider you have a bright future, there's something you can do. But according to, to answer your question, I don't really worry about uh, what job I can do because when you do a science research in this level, you create new professions. So you never lost a job, you create a new one. And to give you some example that we are really doing right now in our department, for instance, you go to any uh, company, if they are doing cancer research, antibody production or design, engineering, protein mass production, you do structural biology analysis, drug delivery, you do the new biosensors, you do uh, functional food, or you study the um, um, virus. We also have uh, uh, professors doing the virus. We, you can study the fungus and the disease, like the Canada, or you can do immunology, or medical imaging, or even planet foods. Whatever I just mentioned, we actually have professor really doing that right now in our department and that they are pretty good at that and so to sum up this is not your limitation is your imagination seriously you just you create new ones and you have the depth and you have the inspiration you never worry about what's the existent uh, job that you can join you can bring everything to a new level yes very inspiring. <laughs> Moving on, uh, we have another one from Diana. Does your college or department offer scholarships for international students? Mm -hmm. um, I actually received a different scholarship for my undergraduate student, and also uh, my undergraduate study, and also my graduate study. Um, during my undergraduate study, I applied for the Ministry of Education. Um, MOE. Yes, MOE scholarship. Yes, I have that too. Yes. <laughs> and it's a it's a good scholarship that provides uh, overseas students to come to Taiwan and the uh, living expenses will be covered. So full tuition waiver yes, okay. and a uh, monthly stipend, and you you only need to maintain your GPA. Your GPA, yes, yes, each semester. Mm -hmm. And. Um, but during my graduate studies, I also received a scholarship from the department. But then for that part, I uh, have the tuition waiver, tuition mm -hmm. fee waiver. Mm -hmm. And I, I think there are a lot of different choices of scholarship that um, you can look up. I think a lot of the information are provided on the OIA website. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. we have a scholarships webpage on the OIA website. There are um, information on uh, scholarships from NTU, from government associations, other organizations, and even from the co respective colleges. So the answer is yes. <laughs> in short, in short, the answer is yes, we do provide scholarships for international students. And um, I think that's all of the questions for today. All right. Okay. Um, let's... Uh, Feel free to... It contact us if you, have, <laughs> you have any further questions here. Yeah. Yes, if you have any questions, they're probably on the website. Mm -hmm. but if they're ours, feel free to contact either OIA or the College of Life Science. Okay. So the video, so the introductory video we watched today is already on the YouTube, so you can search for that and you can review the video once again if you find specific areas. And at the end of the uh, video, you can you see a QR code. So use the QR code, you can scan to our webpage, and you can look at our faculty members and contact us. 
We also have the international like uh, staff member to help people to, you know, if you have specific questions, just contact us. We'll answer and address your question. So welcome to National Taiwan University. Yeah, welcome. So, yeah, yes. thank you. What should we type to find the video? College of Life Science. NTU mm -hmm. College of Life Science. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Ching, Professor Yan, thank yeah. you, Max, and thank you, Vincent. And, and okay. thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you for coming. Okay. Yeah. Hope Bye. to see you here. Be bold to choose and make your own future. Cultivating elites worldwide to transcend limitations. If opportunity doesn't knock, build a door. Researching and developing innovations for global sustainability. Embracing challenges to overcome all odds. Liberal atmosphere allows everyone's unique potential to shine. Rich culture and environment provides convenient lifestyles. Magnificent cultures preserved through the enchanting Oriental Formosa.
Taiwan, the best destination for studying abroad. Study in Taiwan, the peak on the sea, the dream with the wing. I'm studying civil engineering and Taiwan has a good reputation in construction domain. So I wanted to learn about those abilities and skills people are using here. They have Taipei 101, they have complex building all around the country. So I wanted to learn about this, those techniques of construction. And on top of that, I wanted to explore new culture, learn new languages and discover new origin. I'm very happy here at NTO because first of all, talking about the courses I have been taking for those years, I learned to design, I learned to manipulate software. I also even had the opportunity to went to internship. And on top of that, professors, the staff, the classmates here, they are amazing. Everybody take, is taking good care of me and I really appreciate it. And the thing here is like, actually not just talking about the school. When you go outside, people are kind and they teach you Mandarin. And actually you learn a lot. You ask and you learn, that's the fact. And I really love it here. I will definitely recommend my friends and everybody to come and study here in Taiwan. It's a beautiful, safe place to visit ever. And the thing is like, people here are kind and they are taking good care of foreign students. So if you want to try something new, Taiwan is the best place you can visit and try it out. My experience at uh, NTU was fantastic. Uh, first, the professors are international. We have international professors at the law school uh, who studied in the United States, Germany, uh, Japan. So they had an international perspective. Uh, and you can see that international perspective in their teaching. Uh, so I was able to uh, learn a lot from their international perspective. ค่ะก็เอ่อคณะวิทยาศาสตร์ของไทยป่าจะมีคอร์สให้เลือกค่อนข้างหลากหลายเพราะว่าในประเทศไหนอะไรอย่างเงี้ยค่ะซึ่งอย่างตอนนี้มีเรียนอยู่ก็เอ่อเป็นอาจารย์ที่มาจากอเมริกาซึ่งเราum, und da gab mir die Möglichkeit, nach Taiwan zu gehen und ein Auslandsjahr zu machen. Und ich wollte insbesondere diese Gemeinsamkeiten und auch die Unterschiede kennenlernen. Und daher habe ich mich für ein Auslandsjahr an der NTU in Taiwan entschieden. College kann ich sagen, man hat da kein Präsidenten, Seminar, Forum und die Pertukaran Akademik an der University Rakan Kongsi. Seminar yang baru-baru ini adalah diadakan dengan UC Berkeley, Hong Kong University, dan Rebok University. Sekiranya sudah bosan duduk di Taiwan, pelajar juga ada peluang seperti melalui program gajah peganda, program pertukaran pelajar, uh, atau intern di negara lain lagi. 
und die einzigartige Geschichte Taiwans, die ich mich in dieser Folge eingelesen habe, auf der Suche nach einer Austauschuniversität, ähm, hat Taiwan als Land mein Interesse geweckt. Einmal aufgrund seiner völkerrechtlich einzigartigen Situation, aber auch aufgrund der geopolitischen Situation in Ostasien geweckt, sodass ich, ähm, mein, sodass ich meinen Plan verfestigt hat, äh, nach Taiwan ins Auslandsjahr zu gehen. Und die NTU als Universität habe ich gewählt, weil die NTU fachlich als eine hervorragende Universität gilt. NTU ist ein sehr guter เสียเสียมาเนี่ยจะดูจังหวะเนี่ยดีโลกินเนี่ยเนี่ยปัตตาโดสกันเนี่ยหัวจริงๆเสียวสูงเลยปัญญาเนี่ยหัวจริงๆ
Dengan melalui yang piola, saya dapat memperolehi fakultas yang bertaraf dunia. Taiwan ไทยวันได้ก็คือเอ่อโฟกัสก็มีให้ตัวเนี่ยเตะ私はもっとも良いdie National Taiwan University heißt euch herzlich willkommen. Wir hatten ein ereignisreiches Jahr und nehmen viele positive Eindrücke mit nach Hause. Welcome to National Taiwan University, Kadi Jeff Wong. Your first choice. What is life? The renowned physicist Schrodinger considered all organisms to be living, whether they are microorganisms, animals, or plants. Any organism exhibiting precise movements that are comprised of atom-sized smaller particles could be considered a life. We strive to understand the wonder of life and create a better future for humanity. Our curiosity propels us to decode our genome study the physiology of various organisms, and to understand the relationship between evolution and ecology. This basic knowledge of life science is extended to solving problems like disease and food security, and has also given rise to the biochemical and biotechnology industries. And all of this is happening at the College of Life Science at National Taiwan University. In Taiwan, National Taiwan University is a top-ranking institution and ranks within the top 100 universities worldwide. The College of Life Science offers extensive educational resources and wide-ranging interdisciplinary research collaborations that can tackle some of the world's most challenging issues. If we ask what is life, I would say life is the biochemical sciences from DNA to RNA to protein. And that's the central dogma in biology. The research in biochemical sciences empowers us to understand our lives deeply. More importantly, it makes our lives better life. 系统生物学顾名思义，就是透过系统性的方式，甚至高通量的方式，在各种生物里面呢进行做研究。那因为系统生物学它已经是一个非常重要的概念，所以它的影响力呢已经渗透在现代生命科学领域的每一个领域里面。The study of ecology and evolutionary biology focuses on the interactions between the living organisms and their environments, as well as how they react throughout the history of life. As we cannot live separate from our surroundings, understanding ecology and evolution is the key for the sustainability of human beings. We investigate biological processes by studying molecules and their interactions and how the genome orchestrates cell behavior. Our research helps us understand the molecular and cellular processes in normal physiology and cancer and neurodegeneration disease. The human body is more micro than humans. What do these micro do to our body? It is critical to understand the link between the microbes and our body in sickness and in health. This would eventually lead to better and more effective therapeutics. Our institute aims to understand the integrated relationship between brain growth and defense and responses in response to abiotic and abiotic stresses to gain the molecular mechanisms leading to possible applications 
in the near future. Fishery catches and agricultural production affect the global food economy and security. We, the IFS, devote to win the latest management discussion, balancing economic development and environmental conservation through interdisciplinary and transdisciplinary studies in order to achieve a sustainable future society. We study how diets and individual food components affect human health and how they influence gene expression. We aim to explore the nutritional, epigenetic, and immune regulation of metabolism, as well as its psychological functions, all for the improvement of human health. The biotech industry relies on the scale-up production of a recombinant protein, such as scale-up process development, play a crucial role in bridging the laboratory at the school and the manufacturing plant in industry. This laboratory allows us to develop the processes that are required to obtain the recombinant protein powder with specification. Using all kinds of model organisms, such as mouse, fish, and worm, we want to understand how our brain works. We want to know how the neurons make connection with each other and how this connection influences us. It can help us fight mental health. It can help us fight dementia and aging. And it can even change the way we learn in the future. The culture of life science was founded in 2003. Here you can enjoy lots of exciting experiments. Research in the culture of life science has extended from the basic theory to the practical application. We welcome you to join us to explore the wonderful world in life science. I think there are many um, interesting and attractive courses at this college. And what I really like is that you become part of a research a lab immediately. More than that, what our college offers is super flexible frame. Uh, we all have found our own spot here. I'm very happy to say that while doing my PhD here in Taiwan, I am experiencing a safe learning environment. Missy 所以生命科学院的毕业同学实际上是可以在为台湾发光发热而且为全世界全人类带来更好的健康以及粮食上的福祉 College of Life Science, National Taiwan University Hi everyone! Welcome back to our 2021 online info session for international students. I'm Natalie and today we've had a series of webinars introducing our colleges. Now the remaining colleges are the College of Public Health and College of Medicine. Tomorrow we'll be holding a series of similar web webinars also introducing our colleges. But tomorrow's sessions will be in Mandarin Chinese. So you're also welcome to join us tomorrow. Let's get started with the College of Public Health video. We are National Taiwan University College of Public Health. In 1993, the College of Public Health was born from the College of Medicine as the eighth college of National Taiwan University, so as to upgrade the standards and quality of public health education in Taiwan. Currently, the College of Public Health consists of one undergraduate department, five graduate institutes, and two degree programs. The history of our college is traced back to 1939. In that year, the Institute of Tropical Medicine was established as the predecessor of the College of Public Health. In 1951, 
the Institute of Tropical Medicine was reformed as the Institute of Public Health. The Department of Public Health and Undergraduate Program was established under College of Medicine in 1972. In 1993, College of Public Health was founded as the first public health school with one single undergraduate program and multiple graduate programs in Taiwan. In 2007, our college began offering Master of Public Health program. In 2010, all faculty members are appointed by the Department of Public Health. Jointly with the other institutes, allowing diversity in teaching. In 2017, our college received C accreditation as the only accredited public health school outside of North America. In 2019, Master of Global Health program was established, targeting international talents. And then in 2020. We established Global Health Program, which includes the existing Master of Global Health and a new PhD of Global Health. Our mission is to improve the health and well-being of populations worldwide by devoting to education, research, and service. Our vision is to be a leading institution that fosters future public health professionals and leaders with sound scientific reasoning and human caring, pursues innovation and excellence, and is dedicated to developing effective solutions to public health issues. Our core value is SIGHT, which stands for compassion, integrity, teamwork. And equality. Our college has eight academic units, including one department, five institutes, and two degree programs. We also have five centers for research and international affairs. The most distinctive feature of our education is that our college was accredited by Council on Education for Public Health (CEEF). CEEF was founded in 1974 and has accredited more than 100 public health schools. Our college is the first and the only accredited one out of North America. In our department, institutes, and degree programs, we provided comprehensive education for different degrees of different majors. All of our programs and courses are designed by three academic areas of public health, as well as cross-cutting competencies. We also provide institutional and company visit in the classes. In international participation, our college attends several international academic organizations in public health. And leads many international activities. For example, in 2019, we held the first ASPPH Academic Regional Meeting in Asia. We also host the KP Chen Memorial Lecture in Public Health every year in memory of Professor Gong Dei Chen, the founding father of Taiwan's public health education.
to promote research, we held workshops, seminars, and conferences in different academic areas. And held research poster exhibitions for students. Our teachers are also proactive in publishing their research achievements. Our college encourages students to be devoted to community services in Taiwan and around the world. During the COVID-19 pandemic, the students established a website, Fight COVID Taiwan. In this website, the team translated instructions and wrote articles of COVID-19. Helping the world know better about the pandemic and the experience of Taiwan. Our college conducted a community-based project, cooperated with Zhanghua County Government and Lianjiang County Government. This project includes health screening and elderly care for community residents, and training of local public health professionals. Establishing a model of resource sharing and cooperation between academia and communities. The project won the ASPPH Harrison C. Spencer Award for Outstanding Community Service in 2020. Let's watch a video of the introduction to this project. National Taiwan University College of Public Health is the cradle of public health professionals in Taiwan. Operational health in local, national, and global communities are always the top of our priorities. The shifts programs in Zhanghua and Mazhu County is one of the example how we engage with local communities to achieve our college's missions: compassion, integrity. Teamwork and equality. Since I get involved in the public health, and、uh, from 1999、uh, in Taiwan,、uh, I start to work with community uh, in uh, different city of Taiwan. The Mazu Island program has been lasting for almost twenty years, and the health disparity of stomach cancer has been substantially reduced. 我们可以很方便的提供民众这种不共卫生的健康服务，很方便提供国际水准的整合式的一个筛检的设施跟工具。我想这个我要非常感谢，呃，台大工卫学院长期的支援跟协助。The so-called CHIS program was launched in 2005, and since then. Uh, more than one fourth of adult people in Zhanghua County has attended this program. Zhanghua County Comprehensive Health Screening Activity is a cross-sectional effort between Zhanghua County Public Health and Zhanghua County Public Health. It is a cross-sectional effort between Zhanghua County Public Health and Zhanghua County Public Health. It is a cross-sectional effort between Zhanghua County Public Health and Zhanghua County Public Health. It is a cross-sectional effort between Zhanghua County Public Health and Zhanghua County Public Health. It is a cross-sectional effort between Zhanghua County Public Health and Zhanghua County Public Health. It is a cross-sectional effort between Zhanghua County Public Health and Zhanghua County Public Health. For nearly two decades, our faculty, staff, and students from every institute and disciplines in our college has contributed their professional expertise, time, and effort to the program. Students and alumni, and also uh, the uh, research people、uh, who are interested in this、uh, community engagement, together, you know, to uh, organize uh, with.、Uh, The community leadership, like the Dr. Ye, help them deny and also plan and also、uh, 
implement the evidence-based the public health practice uh, in relation primary and secondary and even tertiary uh, preventions uh, for the community hospitals and also uh, medical center. We have this opportunity to work with Zhanghua Bureau, Zhanghua Hospitals, Zhanghua Communities. All of us really contribute to this project and learn from each other. I truly enjoy the process. I enjoy participating in conversation with the community members and learning that they truly need in health. Every Thursday, we will go to Zhanghua Health Bureau and have the discussion with Director Ye. And he always provides us uh, first-hand information and through his help, we, uh, our research can be more comprehensive. The cooperation with the community provides us the great opportunity and platform to apply our research work to practice. I really appreciate that our faculty, staff, and students can work together with the community to solve real-world problems. It's our honor to be part of this cooperation. We would continue to work as the Tertiary Referral Center with CPH, NTU, and the Zhanghua Health Bureau and the partners to achieve the goal of Health for All in Zhanghua County. We hope to continue to work here. Our college also supports public health professionals to advance their knowledge and competence through our MPH program which already trained more than 20 uh, public health leaders in these two communities. I think NTU and the Bureau work together and reach the greatest result of the community. I'm proud of my job promoting the health of Zhanghua students. I find my job very useful and fulfilling. I find my job really meaningful and I'm honored to be part of this team. Through the close relationship, they empower the staff uh, of our bureau and produce very valuable and useful information for the policy making. I sincerely appreciate the strong partnership and the long term support from the CPHNTU. And I enjoy so much to coordinate uh, the different kinds of the research people uh, to create the interdisciplinary uh, community base. Uh, work uh, together uh, to to create you know another uh, multi screening models, which is called the uh, community based integrated integrated public health service model. Together with governments and community organizations, we have made outstanding achievements in promoting and protecting health in Zhanghua and Margin. We are proud of these achievements, but most of all, we are so proud of our long term and win-win relationship with our community partners. Students may attend various activities and enjoy a colorful campus life. So, how about joining us in the College of Public Health? We sincerely invite you to attend the online info session of our GHP family. The COVID-19 pandemic continues to plague the world. The public health professionals have become front and center. 
Taiwan's national health insurance system is praised worldwide. Our response to the pandemic is another testament to how our public health succeeds. National Taiwan University is among the top 100 universities in the world. The quality of our public health teaching and research is highly recognized. We welcome international talents to study global health here with us at College of Public Health in Taiwan. Global Health Program is designed for international students. The main goal of our program is to equip our international students with research expertise capable of providing scientific evidence to solve pressing public health issues around the world. National Taiwan University College of Public Health was accredited by Council on Education for Public Health in 2016. And we are the first and still the only one so far to obtain this certification and recognition in Asia. This certification means that our, the quality of our public health education meets specified criteria and standards. Therefore, students can be assured that they are competitive internationally, which is crucial to their subsequent research and career development. Global Health Program offers MS and PhD degrees with all courses taught in English. We strive to combine both theory and practice. We encourage and sponsor our students to intern or conduct field work research during their time at NTU, helping them develop their research skills. Many of our classes emphasize hands-on experiences, so we get to see how public health principles are being applied to protect people's health in their own communities. We've been able to visit a multitude of public health institutions around Taiwan, and I find it very meaningful that we get to meet people who are implementing public health policy in their own neighborhoods. And this is something I know I wouldn't be able to do in these opportunities I wouldn't experience in the U.S. Um, so in those metrics class with Professor Wan Chen Li, we were able to go into indigenous communities and actually take water samples to determine um, the water that they were drinking to see how it was affecting their health. And then in the end, we created presentations that will later be used in the communities. International events organized by the College of Public Health made me feel connected to the international research community. The most valuable experiences are getting more insight in East Asian perspectives, collaborating with outstanding researchers in Taiwan, and studying together with people from different backgrounds. I do enjoy studying at NTU GHP. We're really spoiled in that the public health building is new and it has high tech research facilities. Coming to study at NTU was one of the best choices in my life. I met beautiful people with different culture and background. I made new friends and I'm enjoying all the facilities that are in our disposition. I'm fully enjoying my graduate study at NTU. As a response to the COVID-19 pandemic, we arrange for distance learning so that international students can still take courses while in quarantine. But our main goal is to provide in-person teaching and interaction during this pandemic. And we are very grateful that we can still be doing this as of November 2020. We value students' living experiences. Us Taiwanese are known to be hospitable. Both our program staff and faculty members do our best to our students in all respects. There are many libraries in NTZU. NTZU students can access own libraries. The main library, which is in main campus, very beautiful, uh, is open for 24 hours. The new libraries in medical building is also resourceful and convenient for me to read. Um, so public transportation is actually super, super easy and super convenient here. I can get it around pretty easily by the bus or by metro throughout the city. NTU campus has all the necessary shops, restaurants, and transportation a student needs for living. I think in the Taiwan Street, the public transportation is a very special opportunity. You can use Chinese in Taiwan, you can use the teacher to use Chinese. You don't need to use Chinese, but it's a very special opportunity. Taiwan is such a beautiful country. I love hiking and biking in Taiwan, but also in Taipei. Within an hour from your doorstep, you're in one of the national parks surrounding Taipei for a nice day hike in the mountains. 
Upon graduation, I want our students to be equipped with the skills they need to face public health challenges worldwide, whether they are in the private sector, academia, or NGOs. Um, this program has allowed me to explore different avenues and different career fields. My future is currently still uncertain, but a lot of professors in the GHP have been super helpful with guiding me through different career fields and how I can reach them. And it's really helpful that they care not only about my academic well-being, but also my personal well-being. The Global Health Program at National Taiwan University helps incorporate different global aspects about public health. It also provides different cultural insights that I would not have received in America. After graduation, I plan to join a women's health organization to understand the different health barriers that women face. Through work and volunteer experience after I graduate, I hope to find the work that I truly find meaningful. As of right now, I love to create, help create policies in the United States that help the most vulnerable communities. Welcome. Hi, welcome back. Today, we are honored to welcome the Associate Dean of the College of Public Health, Professor Chu Xing Kate Xiao, to join us today. Hi, everyone. Um, thanks for coming. Should uh, we start to answer the question now or uh, later? Uh, we, can, we can start answering right now. OK. Uh, a, a student, well, someone asked about the possible uh, job market for uh, our graduates. Well, it, it really depends on the concentrations. For instance, for students who graduated from epidemiology and biostatistics, uh, they can always find jobs relating to data analysis, either in pharmaceutical companies or uh, in uh, hospitals, or even in governments and private sectors. And also for students who have uh, a degree in uh, health policy and social sciences, most of them will be working in uh, governments. And for students whose concentration is in environmental health, um, well, again, they can either work in environment, uh, in the government, or uh, work for NGOs. And uh, some of them probably would uh, start, uh, start their own uh, companies. So there are many different types of choices. Did I answer the question? I believe so. Uh, I think that's perhaps uh, our only question for today. Is there anything you would like to add for our uh, College of Public Health? Uh, well, we have many uh, videos on YouTube. So mm -hmm. I recommend uh, whoever is interested in our uh, College of Public Health can visit uh, the YouTube channels. Mm -hmm. So we search NTU College of Public Health. Yes. And we have uh, one more question, it seems. Here, could I apply for this program if my background is not public health? Of course. Uh, you can apply uh, for um, the GHP, the Global Health Program, for a uh, master and also for PhDs. Uh, if your background is not in public health, then you simply have to take you know, the required courses. But of course, it, those courses are all very general. Um, and then you will have to select a specific concentration depending on your interest. Um, I believe those courses are very interesting and fun. All right, uh, I think that's all for today. Thank you, Professor Xiao, for joining us today. It's been an honor to have you. Thank you. Same here. And that is all for today uh, for the College of Public Health. Later at around 5.20, we have our next session, which is the College of Medicine. I'll see you then. Bye.
Hi everyone, welcome back. Last on our agenda today is the College of Medicine. Tomorrow we'll be hosting a series of similar webinars in Mandarin Chinese. So for today, our last college, the College of Medicine, let's start with their video. National Taiwan University College of Medicine is the top-ranked medical school in Taiwan, one of the top 100 universities in the world. Every year, more than 700 medical and paramedical students receive outstanding clinical and research training. Our alumni from all over the world are making great impacts. They are the main driving force to better healthcare in Taiwan and beyond. Taiwan was hit hard in the SARS outbreak of 2003. We effectively identified the pathogen in two weeks, the whole genome of the SARS-CoV virus was completely sequenced. In 1968, we performed the first kidney transplant in Asia. In 1979, we were the first in Asia and the world's fourth to successfully separate the conjoined twins fused at Ischial region. In 1987, the first heart transplantation in Asia was successfully performed at our hospital. In 2004, we set a record to successfully perform a laparotomy in a 432-gram extremely low birth weight infant who suffered from intestinal perforation. The Taipei Hospital Medical Training Institute, established in 1897, was the predecessor of National Taiwan University College of Medicine. The founding of the office of the Taiwan Governor Medical School in 1899 was the beginning of modern medical education in Taiwan. Over the past 120 years, the school has survived war and the evolution of times. We now have 415 full-time faculty, 292 clinical teachers, and 3,539 students. We are internationally recognized as Taiwan's best medical institution. Taiwan National Taiwan University College of Medicine affiliated hospitals include the National Taiwan University Hospital and the National Taiwan University Cancer Center. Under the auspice of the National Taiwan University Hospital, there are five branch hospitals and one children's hospital, where teaching, research and services are the main driving force of innovation. In 2003, the National Taiwan University Hospital identified and admitted the first SARS patient. Despite limited information, the hospital was the first to publish a treatment guideline which attracted global attention. Moreover, we set new records for many medical technology innovations in Asia, put Taiwan firmly on the global stage. The first core lab was established in the College of Medicine, equipped with common instruments and devices for all users in the hospital. Based on various functionality of experimental instruments, new core labs were established. Currently, there are the Flow Cytometry Analyzing and Sorting Core, DNA Sequencing Core, Imaging Core Facility, Biomedical Resource Core, Human Disease Modeling Center, Medical Microbiota Center, and the Biosafety Level 3 Lab. These state-of-art instruments met the research needs for all members in our departments and research institutes. They also strengthen the research capabilities to study precision medicine and biochemistry, physiology, pharmacology, immunology, neurology, cancer, diseases, and stress medicine. As such, the quality of biomedical research in the hospital was significantly improved. Many excellent researchers were cultivated, 
and strive for outstanding research performance. Over the last decade, National Taiwan University College of Medicine has published nearly 20,000 papers. Many are published in top journals, and the highly cited articles are increasing yearly. We also have many international collaborations. The quality and impacts of our academic research has received worldwide attention. Our comprehensive education system includes many branches and divisions of healthcare, eight departments and schools, 25 research institutes, two degree programs, and two research centers. Preciously targeting on their own professional refinement lay a solid foundation for effective learning. National Taiwan University College of Medicine educational philosophy, like the elegant architecture of the Museum of Medical Humanities, the newly admitted students are baptized through pre-arrival programs. In addition to undergo a series of courses, they personally experience the hardships of patients, including those with visual impairment and limited mobility, to learn empathy. Be a good doctor, not a famous doctor, is the most important motto of National Taiwan University School of Medicine. With words and actions, the teachers cultivate students' humanistic care ability and altruism. They integrate these values into group discussions and experiential learning courses to nurture humanity and professionalism for physicians. With dexterous hands and keen eyes for aesthetics, dentistry is not just science but is also art. Clinical education is the foundation of professionalism in all pharmaceutical domains. Ensure drug safety for patients. Offer medication knowledge and clinical assessment for patients. Sharpen critical thinking and problem-solving skills. Cultivate nursing leaders in healthcare to safeguard the well-being of people. Strengthen teaching approaches for adult education. Cultivate passionate nursing leaders who had a bachelor's in another discipline. Incorporate both medical technology and biotechnology training. Cultivate medical technologists. Innovate biotechnological research and development. Encompass fields of mental disorders, pediatric long-term care and career reconstruction to improve the patient's quality of life. Exploiting physical elements such as sound, electricity, water, coldness, hotness, and light. We not only evaluate and treat patients, but also with eyes on prevention and differentiation. Affiliated with National Taiwan University College of Medicine, National Taiwan University Hospital is Asia's top medical center. Its pivotal position in the international arena has advantages and resources, provides clinical practice and professional experience for students. We have a lot of people who are in the world. 那这些就是要在临床实习当中点点滴滴，逐步的让我们的医学生、我们的医师学生养成这样的一个医学知识跟临床技能，才可以给病人最好的一个临床照顾。National Taiwan University College of Medicine values international collaboration and exchanges. Currently, we have established partnerships with more than 70 prestigious universities. By student exchange program, we enrich our global academic interaction. We promote overseas short-term studies and education programs to encourage our faculty to engage in global research and lecture internationally. Together with the University of Tsukuba in Japan and the University of Bordeaux in France, we have established an international triple master's degree program to create a borderless university system based on education innovation. Since joining this program, I have acquired a lot of practical skills through the lab work I have conducted, the presentations I have prepared, and the professionals I was lucky enough to talk to. And in this program, we also have a lot of teamwork with all my classmates who come from different countries, and the chance to share cultures has been a great experience. It's great. Thank you.
In addition to professional knowledge, the students also demonstrated a spirit of selflessness and altruism. After the 921 earthquake, they assisted in emergency medical rescue in disastrous areas and the reconstruction of community health care systems. Their kindness also extends to other parts of the world, where they volunteered in remote areas with inadequate medical resources. The Taipei Hospital Medical Training Institute, established in 1897, was the predecessor of National Taiwan University College of Medicine. The founding of the Office of the Taiwan Governor Medical School in 1899 was the beginning of modern medical education in Taiwan. We now have 415 full-time faculty, 292 clinical teachers, and 3,539 students. We are internationally recognized as Taiwan's best medical institution. Our comprehensive education system includes many branches and divisions of healthcare, eight departments and schools, 25 research institutes, two degree programs, and two research centers. The first core lab was established in the College of Medicine, equipped with extensive instruments and devices for all users in the hospital. The state-of-the-art instruments meet the research needs for all members in our departments and research institutes. Over the last decade, National Taiwan University College of Medicine has published nearly 20,000 papers. Many are published in top journals, and the highly cited articles are increasing yearly. National Taiwan University College of Medicine values international collaboration and exchanges. Currently, we have established partnerships with more than 70 prestigious universities. Together with the University of Tsukuba in Japan and the University of Bordeaux in France, we have established an international triple master's degree program. Since joining this program, I have acquired a lot of practical skills through the lab work I have conducted, the presentations I have prepared, and the professionals I was lucky enough to talk to. And in this program, we also have a lot of teamwork with all my classmates who come from different countries, and the chance to share cultures has been a great experience. It's great. In addition to professional knowledge, the students also demonstrated a spirit of selflessness and altruism. Their kindness also extends to other parts of the world. Taiwan is an amazing country. Studying at National Taiwan University College of Medicine, not only can you enjoy the professional and rich academic resources, but also experience of splendid and diverse cultures in Taiwan. We welcome you to join us to feel the passion and vitality of Taiwan. Hi, Ginger. Hi. Back. Hi, Ginger. Ginger is from the College of Medicine. Yes, thank you very much for sharing our videos. Um, Ginger will be answering our questions. Sure. And Ginger, for the question one, uh, we are sorry that our medicines and the pharmacy, they didn't accept international undergraduate students. So uh, if you are really interested in those um, area, maybe you can find our another medical university in Taipei they will accept international students for the, those two areas. Yes, and for the second uh, question is, uh, what organization does not you co collaborate with? Um, for college size, uh, we uh, have the college internships for international students, and also on the Office of Internal of uh, international affairs also have some internship for the international students. And for other departments, they might have cooperated with some foundations, but it's 
that we have to check for each department. So um, that's uh, so far our answering for these two questions. Okay, uh, I believe we have, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact Ginger at her email, Ms. Yang, Ginger Yang at ntu.edu.tw. Is that right? Can you confirm this? Yes, me? correct. Thank you very much. And because the okay. uh, medical college has a variety, a variety of departments, and uh, there are specialties for each department. So if you are interested in anyone, you can email me or you can um, contact the uh, department um, staff directly through our websites. They will have some um, contact information on the websites. All right. Uh, I think oh, there is uh, one more. Could we maybe we can answer this before we end off today's session? Uh, medical medical um, sciences and medical biotechnology. I'm curious about the expertise because it has tech, bio, and med all in one department. Um, for the clinical lab science. Uh, because it, I think you can, if you are interested in such area, you can. Uh, I can pass your message to the department because um, I'm not sure what, um, how they separate this, this, this kind of um, tech, uh, this, these two kind of things. So you can email me and maybe I can check with the department and have the reply to you. Thank you, Daniel, for that question. And I think that is all for today. Thank you, Ginger, for joining us today and answering our questions. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.